Okay, hello all you crazy people out there, this is Michael of Two and a Half Seeds, and welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. So, so far we have this wonderful blue dot thing that's uh, very realistically gliding around on the on the game window and crashing into these uh, very uh, high quality brown walls, and it's it, it, it really doesn't do much. So today we're going to be adding gravity. <clears throat> Alright, uh, wonderful window glitches. So, everything's pretty much going to be happening in here in the step event of the uh, player object. Now, Game Maker, as some people may realize, has a built-in uh, system for gravity, and you can set that to. Uh, eh, I hit the, I hit some keys that I didn't want to. Um, so if you set that to something, and run the game, then the blue dot's going to start falling. Except it's going to completely disregard the uh, the brown blocks, and that's not really what we want. So we, we're going to get rid of that. And uh, all of this, I said uh, a little while ago that it was going to be completely rewritten later in this session of Game Maker Lessons, and that's going to happen now. So, let's see, I, uh, I might as well delete this. This works, as it was, it works fine if you want to make like an overhead uh, or isometric game, uh, like some sort of JRPG style thing. But if you want to do um, like movement with platforming, then you probably want something a little bit different. Now, I'm going to go into the create event here real quick, and I'm going to drop some code over here, and I'm going to write a few things. So those of you who know physics may know that there's a couple of components to gravity. There's going to be the uh, the rate at which objects accelerate to gravity itself, which would be that thing uh, in Game Maker, or we need to choose another um, another name because that was already taken to a variable. So this is just going to be grab because I'm creative. And we're going to set that to 0. Point, I like 0. 0.3 because it's fall slower and makes it easier to see. Next, you have the horizontal and vertical speeds. Um, Game Maker also has built-in stuff for this, except uh, we don't really want that. We're going to be using our own once again, and it's going to be a H. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that out loud. And for vertical, it's going to be that. And we're going to initialize those to zero so that the game knows they're there. And there's another variable that we're going to want to be using, but I'm going to be getting into that later. So. <clears throat> What we're going to be doing here is uh, let's go and uh, set HSP and VSP to zero. And uh, let's see, if you hit left, you are going to currently, uh, or rather before in the system that we said before, you would move to the uh, left at four pixels per second. So we're just going to say uh, HSP minus equals four. And let's see, if, uh, if right, HSP plus equals four. Okay, good. That's the uh, the negative and positive x directions for the appropriate uh, keys on the keyboard. And you could say uh, I don't know uh, HSP equals four and H or negative four rather and HSP equals positive four over there. Except if you do that, um, if you press one key and then press the other, it's going to change direction. And most of the time in games, people like it when they uh, when the player stops if you have both arrow keys held down. So this just accounts for that. Now, uh, let's see, we're going to uh, space those out a little bit. Next, we are going to say, uh, if you hit up, that's going to be the jump key. So let's see, there's a couple things about jumping that weren't in this uh, system previously. You can only jump when you're on the ground naturally. So we're going to say, um, in. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to put it outside of the, uh, the if statement for the hour key. If place meeting x and y plus 1, because we want it to be below, and a wall object, then we're going to uh, wrap this in one of those things. I'm missing a parenthesis somewhere, aren't I? Yeah, we need that. Um, then we can say uh, if the keyboard press up, uh, v speed is going to... I'm just going to set that to minus 8. Minus equals or uh, equals minus doesn't really matter because it's going to be 0 at this point anyway. Okay, and for good measure, if you want, you can say else uh, it equals 0, but it doesn't matter. That's just like extra code. That's never going to change anything because once again, setting V speed to 0 just right there. And let's see, so that's, that's going to account for uh, when you hit the jump key. And now. I realize I'm probably writing a lot of code without actually running the game, but I do have um, I do have the code already set up for me that I'm just kind of looking at off screen right here, and I'm hoping this will work. Uh, let's see, down, 
Uh, I'm gonna want that. Down. Currently, we don't need it down. If you want, I don't know if you want to like descend a ladder or something like that, then you'll probably use the down key. But uh, as of right now, we're just using left, right, and jump. So I'm gonna be get rid of, getting rid of the down uh, thing right now. Next, to deal with the gravity, we're going to be saying if uh, place meeting. No, wait. I could just uh, I could just dump this uh, in here because that's the same condition that's being checked. No, we want it else. I knew that uh, because um, you only want to be falling if there isn't a thing underneath you. So if this is true, then this is going to happen. Otherwise, if it's false, you can say if uh, the condition is false in parentheses there, but I don't want to because it's uh, extra typing for me. I'll be putting comments on this and stuff like that uh, when I put this file up for download in the video description anyway. Uh, else, let's see, VSP is going to have to plus equals something. And you can't just say plus equals gravity or grab, whichever you prefer because it's getting reset here every time and then you'll just be falling at a, a, a constant rate and not accelerating anywhere. But this is where the other variable is going to be coming in and this is going to be a T for time. So this is going to measure the time that you're in the air. And let's see, uh, in this step event, yes that's where we are, we're going to say gravity plus equals, uh, no, the vertical speed plus equals gravity uh, times time. And uh, time is going to increment if we're still in the air. And also, we're going to, um, if you hit the ground, if you're on the ground here, if there's, if there's a wall right underneath you, you're on the ground, are you going to run, want to reset time to zero because you're uh, naturally no longer falling? Okay, so that's all the math out of the way. Well, not quite. But now we just have to implement the movement. So over here, before, in the system that was uh, implemented before for movement in this session of tutorials, everything was pretty much snapped to a grid but of 4 by 4 pixels. Uh, you can move 4 by 4 pixels, the walls were 32 apart, which is 8 times 4 uh, pixels apart, so they were also aligned to a 4 by 4 grid, so you didn't really have to worry about positioning and movement and uh, lining up pixel perfect too much. But here, due to the way gravity causes you to accelerate downwards at, right here it's a rate of 0 0.3 pixels per step squared, which is, I want to say about 9 pixels per second, squ per second squared, assuming that you're running out the game at 30 frames per second. You're going to end up with some crazy values, like some crazy decimal values, like, I don't know, 5.72 pixels um, per step at some given moment. And that's not really what you want, because that will cause you to, like, pass through walls and weird stuff like that. So we're going to be, uh, we're going to be looking at movement a little bit more detailed here. So, I made a video on loops recently, and I did that for a reason. I'll have an annotation link to that video in this... Uh, right here on the screen right now as well as in the video description for those of you who haven't seen it and want to and if you aren't familiar with uh, the various types of loops in programming I do recommend you see that because you will see that a lot when you're making games and I'm going to be setting up a just a simple uh, I know I said in the video there that you don't see the repeat loop too often but we're gonna be using one of those there and it's going to be uh, it's going to be repeating exactly this many times uh, for horizontal movement and vertical movement, you're going to be moving one, one pixel in either direction exactly this many times, assuming you're not hitting a wall. So uh, we're going to say repeat round, because you need an integer value or else that'll be weird. Uh, round of, we're going to be starting with horizontal because that's easier. And you're also going to want it to be the absolute value because you can't have a loop that runs negative five times or whatever. That would be equally weird. And you're going to be saying if place meeting. And here, you can't just say if place meeting x plus 1, x minus 1, because um, you, you're dealing with potentially both cases here um, with the horizontal speed. So we're going to need to say if horizontal speed is negative, look at x minus 1. If it's positive, look at x plus 1. And you can use an if statement for that, but I want to. Uh, I want to go more into logic here, and we're going to be using math to figure this out. So GameMaker, very nicely, as a, a lot of programming languages do actually, gives us this function called sine of uh, an integer value, or any uh, any real number value, really. And it's going to return positive 1 if HSP is positive, and negative 1 if HSP is negative. So if, uh, if this is like positive 4 or something, you say you hit the left key, or uh, the right key rather, because I know my directions, then it's going to return positive 1 and it's going to say x plus 1 and you're going to check that position and if it's negative because you hit the uh, the left key 
uh, it's going to return negative 1, and it's going to check the position of x plus negative 1, which is basically uh, x minus 1. And um, let's see, y, because uh, I'm going to space that there to make it a little easier to read, and wall. I need a comma. All right, there we go. So if that place is free, if there's no uh, if there's no wall object meeting that position, then uh, once again, you can just say x plus equals the sign of HSP. And let's see, I'm missing a parenthesis again. I like missing parentheses. <clears throat> it's a good thing to have a game maker has syntax checking, or else that would provide some really annoying errors when I'm trying to make tutorial videos, wouldn't it? Else, if there is a wall there, um, you might as well just break out of the repeat statement and not execute the rest of them because that's just a waste of like processing power. I know it's not that much processing power, but um, just for the sake of being as efficient as possible, we're gonna break out of the loop if there's a wall there. Once again, this will be moving one pixel for as many times as um, the speed telling it to. So if your uh, if your horizontal speed is four, then it will move one pixel to the uh, the right four times, and you'll be moving four pixels over. Just like it says to, and it'll uh, since it's all happening in the step event, it'll be it'll appear to happen instantaneously on the screen. All right, so let's uh, we might as well test this because we have something to show now. I'm going to be uh, hitting F5. Hopefully, it doesn't crash. Wonderful. I uh, I hit the keys, and they stop at the wall. Perfect. Wonderful. I could make the speed something else if I want to. I could make it like 4.2 or something ridiculous like pi or e or I don't even know, and it'll it'll work all the same. Anyway, so we're going to basically copy and I didn't mean it. Yeah. The shift key, the Z key, they're the same thing, right? Uh, I'm going to copy and paste this and do the same thing for vertical speed. Uh, v, S, P there. And this is going to be the exact same thing, except instead of uh, X plus sign of that, uh, we're going to be saying Y plus sign of that. And it's going to be a V, not H. And converting everything into a vertical uh, vectors. There we go. So let's run the game, see what happens. Oh, I didn't hit it run the game. I knew that. Alright, so that's gonna happen. We're gonna fall. Perfect. Um, let's see, we are we are stuck on the ground. Perfect, I can't jump. I believe, but I'm not sure I put something in there for jumping. So let's have a look at what's going on here. Oh, um, yeah, this has to be negative because up is the negative x direction in computer science. Yeah, I knew that. So let's see, I'm hitting up in the air and it's a jump. I'm hitting up on the ground and it is jumping, and unfortunately it's it's kind of stuttering. I think that's because I'm not setting it high enough and gravity is taking over before you really get anywhere. So I'm going to say uh, jump speed is going to be something a little bit higher. No, 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 no. I don't... Thanks, autocorrect. Or autocomplete, rather. So I'm going to be saying, uh, say, 16 or something, a little bit bigger than that, so that it shows for a little more when you jump. So. Oh, uh, I, know it's, I know what else is going on. Uh, vertical speed, you do not want to be setting to zero. And... The reason for that is that um, you basically move 16 pixels up and then vertical speed gets reset in the next step. So to deal with that, let's just take that line out there and see what happens. Should look, this should work a little bit better. Wonderful. Okay, so uh, we're falling, we're jumping. Uh, we can jump nice and high. Super Mario Moon jumps. Wonderful. And that's that. So something that I've kind of heard about uh, from some people would be making gravity so that you can walk on the ceiling or any direction that you want to. And that is more complicated. That is much more complicated. That requires you look at movement from a perspective of a forward, backward, and jump key instead of up, down, and up, down, and up keys on the keyboard. And if enough people want me to, I'll make a video on that. But that would, once again, require rewriting pretty much this whole system here. Because when you hit the right key, you won't necessarily be moving to the, uh, the right. You might be moving whichever direction has to be forward. There's trigonometry involved there, unlike here when you're really just uh, doing some basic uh, Galilean physics. But it's not impossible. People have done it before. I have a friend who made a Super Mario Galaxy engine um, a few months ago, a 2D Super Mario Galaxy engine, and it did use gravity in directions that aren't necessarily downwards. But for now, I hope you all enjoyed that. Uh, if you have any suggestions of where you want me to go after this, let me know. I have a spreadsheet somewhere that tells me what I'm going to be doing, but uh, that's still um, up in the air for the most part, and um, yeah, I'll see you all later.